Welcome again to the latest stories making headlines in the country. My name is Melads Milo, aka Fuller. Subscribe to the Buzz UG in case you haven't, and also tap on the bell for all the notifications. Well, I'm starting this newscast with the Bobby Wine documentary Ghetto President that was premiered yesterday at the Venice Film Festival in Italy. This documentary film follows Bobby Wine and his wife, Bobby Chagulanyi, with Bobby rising from the ghetto slums of Kampala to one of the country's most loved superstars. This is not just a story for Uganda, it's a narrative for all those countries who struggle under dictatorial regimes. According to the film directors Christopher Sharp and Moses Boyo, Bobby Wine and his wife Bobby are lifetime heroes who take great personal risk to dislodge and liberate a nation from a regime that has been in power for 35 years. Trust me, Ugandans and the world can't wait to watch this film that is coming in just a few days from now. Meanwhile, Bobby Wine has shared that video through his social media platforms and uh, he was given a standing ovation that lasted for over two minutes. Hey, my friend, this guy is now on another level. Uh, trust me, he's inspiring nations, not only Uganda, but nations all over the world. And I think as a country and as a generation, we should be so proud that, you know, this guy comes from Uganda. Otherwise, congratulations to you, His Excellency Robert Chagulanyi Sentamu, aka Bobby Wine. Right here on the Buzz UG, we wish you all the best. Well, the Chief Justice Alfonso Owinidolo has decried the disrespect of court orders by security officers and lawyers. The Chief Justice has singled out the resident district commissioners, uh, commonly known as RDCs, and court bailiffs, warning that they risk charges of contempt of court. Alfonso was launching the annual judiciary performance report for the year 2021 and 2022 at the judicial headquarters in Kampala. We have experienced disrespect of court orders and interference with the execution process with some members of the armed forces, some resident district commissioners, and even some lawyers. We as judiciary, we do not set the law. The law is set by parliament. We must act in accordance with the Constitution. We must respect the principle of separation of powers. You can be cited for contempt and be prosecuted. However, Justice and Constitutional Affairs Minister, that is Nobat Mao, held the institution, describing it as the best setter for the government's institutions, adding that the judiciary has earned trust from the people. Ugandans trust the judiciary. No matter what people say, I think at the next survey, you'll find that you're among the most trusted. Now, the pre-trial hearing of the murder and terrorism case against Kawempe North Member of Parliament Mohamed Segrinya and uh, Makindia West Member of Parliament Alan Sewanyana has flopped before the International Crimes Division of the High Court due to lack of a judge. Now, the case currently has no presiding judge after Justice Jane Elizabeth, who was in charge, transferred to a new station last month by the principal judge. Pre-trial judge is on transfer. These have now been further remanded to Kitalia government prison until the 20th of this month when they will return to see if a new judge has been allocated to hear the case. So the reason is the file is not yet allocated to a judge. So if we say 20th, I think the court is trying its best because we are not for seeing who it's allocated to, how they will react, the time they are going to ask for to peruse the file. We to Rio Kurabanga, to Vere Ramon of Rani Rabaganda Bafe, Kubanga to Chimani, Tivasiba Babwe. Near to Rabaka cutting a coat, a jury warm, a Sazo engagement in Okulizom Sanguguno, a Chichiragu Momanini, Koti, the Muchizimula, Oro, Muniza Mutia Tokone, Muntumra, Memuamu Webula, Okulembeza Wakoti, Bumaze Much Tongo, Ramuzi, Ensa, Gabuzi Mula, a Vira Giruvia Koti.
And finally, Pastor Dennis Kintu has been trending these two days after seeing in a video circulating on different social media platforms, whipping his followers in the church. Now, Pastor Kintu was later arrested and he revealed to police that what happened in his church was deliberate and planned because he wanted to gain more popularity and have more followers on different social media platforms, especially TikTok. Now, some residents in the area said Pastor Kintu has a right to beat his followers because he's their provider and caretaker. While other residents were happy that this man was arrested because he was becoming too much. So I narrate well, that's the latest update I got for you right here on The Buzz UG. My name is Melads Milo, a.k.a. Fula. And in case you haven't subscribed, kindly subscribe. And also tap on the bell for all the notifications. Big upon yourselves, all the Buzz diehards. And uh, you can as well get to invite other people to come and be part of us right here on this platform because we're all about what is trending in the country, the current affairs, the entertainment industry, anything that is making news, anything that is on everybody's lips. I make sure that I put it to you right here on the buzz ug so what you have to do be part of the family 24 7 and i'll be so glad to have you part of the family it's a bye for now thank you Audio jungle.